What's good for family? It's your boy Malik and as y'all can tell I wasn't capping and I got the backdrop in and we got the camera on the tripod So we going crazy. We gonna be stupid. I'm gonna be uploading all the time And yeah. we here with the boy Trello y'all already know yeah. what it do uh, Ah, bro, I'm just happy. I know y'all probably didn't think I was gonna get it Next thing that's coming in is a ring light to get that um natural lighting put on ring my face light. Um tripod's crazy backdrops crazy i'm getting different colors to come in um or different sheets and yeah this man already getting into it but as y'all saw by the title today's video is going to be a mcdonald's mukbang i usually don't eat mcdonald's but you know what hey it's healthier for you in germany and nobody really do mcdonald's muck dang fuck dang fuck dang fuck dumbass dang. motherfucker <laughs> um, <laughs> mukbangs mukbang Gang bang. <laughs> but <and> today <laughs> But today we gonna be talking <laughs> Today we're gonna be telling you story time about how these these German pullets are they strip searches bro. So how 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 should we start it off? How how I was gonna meet Violetta? Yeah, he was finna meet his shorty. So we just waiting outside Dunkin' Donuts. Next thing I know the 12 pull up on us. And they start, they go straight over to me, tell me to go. Damn! Can you eat pussy like that? Put my hand on the on the banister and the rail and shit. So they started searching me, started patting me down. And they was yelling at me in German, I don't speak the language, so I didn't know what they were saying. Yeah, I was trying, I was trying to tell them. I was speaking German to him. I was like, he don't speak German. I was like, I don't care. You tell him what we're saying then. And this man had his hands in his pockets. Cause you know, usually you're just gonna chill. Like that's that's a natural thing to do. You're gonna put your hands in your pockets, chill. He's like, take your hands out your pocket. And this nigga's like, what the fuck are they saying, bro? I'm like, he said, take your hands out your pocket. And next thing you know, I'm putting my hands in my pocket. <laughs> I felt dumb and shit. I'm like, oh shit, my fault, my fault. And then after they got done searching me, they took this man bag off his back and and brought us and started escorting us to the yeah. station. They was like, come with us real quick. So what happened is they started searching him. They're like, we gonna search him first. They started searching him in front of everyone, right? And everyone was staring at us. I was like, damn, bro, what are they looking at? Like everyone's just staring hard because it's a main train station, you know. And they was like, oh, come back with us. I was like, what the fuck? And I was supposed to meet up with Shawty, bro. Old girl. Talk about come back with us. I tried texting her. And they said, push your phone away. I was like, I'm not putting my phone away, bro. We allowed to do what we want because we ain't do shit. So we went back with them. And, you know, he thought they was just going to, like, check us. Just ask and, a couple questions. Nah, but with the door. When you go through the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got to wait for the other. You got to wait for that one to close before the other one unlocks. So it was like on some security shit. Two damn doors, bro. Can't touch the other one until one lock or one closes. So if one messes up and won't close, they could be stuck in there. Um, what happened? Oh, he went. They took him in, right? <sighs> Don't vape, y'all. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. But they took him in first. And pat him down. And while he was in there, they started asking me questions. She's like, all this your stuff? I said, yes, yeah, all mine was. She's like, oh, empty your pockets. And I emptied my pockets. She's like, that's all you got in your pockets. I said, yeah. And she kept talking in German. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah. She's like, last chance. I'm like, I don't got shit on me, bro. This is all I have in my pockets. What are you talking about? And then she's like, okay. And like, they had me take off my jacket after everything they start going through my wallet and all this shit they saw the jewel bro they saw the jewel they were like what what is this <laughs> oh yeah i started hear that shit i said bro it's a jewel they asked you too right i was like damn it's a jewel they asked me they took the oh for him they, they did took extra the pot out they started sniffing it i had a hat on they made me take my hat off they started sniffing through my hair and going through my hair sniffing or not sniffing but like going through it and shit and, uh, they told me to take my uh, hoodie off 
I took that off. Then they told me to take my shirt off. They started searching me, like lifting my arms up. Like I had something in my armpit. <laughs> and then they was like, told me to take my jeans off. And then I was like, bro, I I'm praying they're not gonna make me take my pants off, like my underwear off. Oh, Next yeah. thing I know, they asked me. And I was trying to, I was like playing dumb. I was like, what? Then they told me like two more times. I was like, I was like, okay, okay, but I don't have anything. So I took my took my boxers off. I felt fucking violated. So I took them down. They told me to squat down. Oh hell no! So I squatted down. I ain't have nothing, of course. And then they said, okay, you're good. And then they tried being like, oh buddy, buddy. After oh. That. But I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. This nigga walked out after he got his done because I had to go after him. And mind you, like, I didn't know what happened. A lady, first the lady was asking me, she's like, what are you doing down here today? I was like, I'm meeting up with my shawty. And she's like, oh, well, why are you in Stuttgart? I, I said, bro, it's, this is a damn city. What you mean, why am I here? Do I, can I not fucking be here, nigga? Like, what the fuck? This is where everyone buys their stuff. They got malls, shops, everything. And she's like, where you live? I told her, I was like, I live in Waldenbuch. And she's like, oh, what's your address? All this shit. I was like, damn, nigga, what the fuck? She seen my ID, asking if I'm military or if I'm civilian. I was like, if I live here by myself, I was like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> you gonna hype over this girl. Um, what happened next? So we gonna skip all that. She was like, okay, whatever. Then he came out and I, this man looked like, nigga, pull the face you pulled when you came out. He looked depressed. My face when I, when I came out. Like this nigga look like. It really hurts so much. I, I really don't know. What, what? <sighs> I'm playing. This nigga look like he had just gone by, lady, bro. I was like, yo, you good? What happened? He's just like. He just so squat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said, for real, what happened, bro? He was like, it was just quiet. But they were getting mad. I guess they thought we was going to switch over some information or something. And then I went up there like, all right, it's your turn. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in there. First thing they asked me, what they say? They was like, I can't remember where for where, obviously. But they was like, um... Ask me questions again. Once again, if I had anything, I said no. They was like, "All right, take off your hoodie, or, um, your jacket, all that." <laughs> Bruh. Jesus Christ! Oh shit. oh shit! My fault. I'm sorry. I'm not bleeping any of this shit out. But they was like, "You want some of this?" All right. They was like, "All right, take off your jacket." Took off my jacket. They like, "Take off your shirt and your pants." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, what the fuck? Like, I don't care." I'm seeing my underwear. These niggas said, um, let's take off your underwear in German. And I was like, I thought I understood them wrong. I was like, hold up, what? I said, huh? <laughs> I just stood there. I just stood there like they didn't say shit. And he said, yes, so forth. I was like, what the? I said, nigga, you want me to take off my boxers? He said, yeah. I said, nigga, I was holding my dick and balls. I didn't. I let, I let my shit hang. This man, this nasty man letting his shit hang, bro. I'm holding my shit. Look, I was like this. Oh, y'all can't see it, but I was holding it like this. Ah! And then they was just like, they they said, bend down. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I said, oh, bro, they finna put their finger up my ass or something. So I bent down. he put them blue yeah. gloves on. He made me squat down, like squat, like I was finna take a duke. I said, <laughs> squat down. Yes, squat down. Bro, I, I thought they were about to stick their finger up my ass. I was getting kind of scared. I was like, "Damn, they for they for about to they for about to violate me. I ain't gonna be a, I ain't gonna be an anal version no more." What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know what to think. Like, honestly, I think that's the first time we ever got like caught caught up, right? Where they try some shit. Cause like we've been pulled over just cause we're fucking black driving with Hispanic or a white person. 
like. But we never like had niggas try to search us in the middle of a train station, put gloves on, and strip search us. If I knew they were gonna try to strip search me, I would have called the the military base because they can't do that. But the thing is, we were already in the fucking jail cells. They put us in the room with a toilet and a bed. And but that, that cell was cold as fuck. A jail cell, bro. A jail cell. A jail. So we had to listen to them after that because the main thing we were scared of was they gonna try. They was gonna try to plant some shit on us. You know what yeah, I mean? I thought they was finna plant some shit on me, so I was just... Cause out here, they have racially profiled. If you black, um, like black, light skin, or in his case, the worst case, if you have fucking dreads, they gonna look like... Um, when they tried to act all cool at the end, they're like, oh, where you buy that from? That thing, Where's, what is this really? I said, it's a jewel, it just came to Germany like uh, a couple months ago. I know, like a couple weeks ago. They was asking where to buy it. They were like, sorry. We they thought I handed this nigga something, like some drug. But they yeah, they, they said, made that they shit said up. He handed me drugs. I was like But we know like, y'all can watch cameras. He didn't send me anything. Yeah, we know. Only thing he passed me was either the jewel or my phone back. Yeah, but we know they were lying. Because no, I ain't hand this nigga shit. I was on my phone texting the whole time. They just on some racist yeah, shit. They just, just they tried to come up with an excuse because they was like, oh um uh this is why. I was like, all right, bullshit, but whatever. Mm. I thought you was farting. You gonna do that with King? Bruh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. King Tev? Yo, fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> bro, bro. That's the end of the story. I'm full as hell. Nigga, you ate two birds? Yeah. I bought three of the mixed classic? No. All right, so. Oh, that's, that's all we had to say, right? Yeah, so. That's the whole story. Oh. That's another reason why you see a lot of people saying fuck 12, because we're not yeah. just saying it for no reason. They, exactly. They, they just not doing right. Exactly. And the thing is, they was treating this nigga. Wasn't they treating you worse too, nigga, because you wasn't speaking German? They were being re mad, mad disrespectful to him. Like, to me, they were disrespectful, but at times they were, like, smiling and they were being chill because I was speaking German. But this nigga, they were being so fucking disrespectful. It was pissing me off. Oh, and the lady got mad, too, because I started laughing. She like, Warum lachst du? I was like, this is kein Witz. I was like, it's like, why are you laughing? There's, this isn't funny. It's not a joke. I was like, nigga, I'm laughing because I know I ain't do shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, you really searching me, asking me four, like, three or four times if I have something in my pockets. Oh, God. <laughs> like, that's some bullshit, bro. I'm sure it's bullshit. But that's it for today's video, Foreign Family. As always, make sure you like. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. It right down there below. And make sure y'all show your friends my channel and, you know, help me grow. Because I'm trying to, not not my titties, you know. But help me grow my channel. I'm trying to hit 2K. 2K. And I was gone for two weeks and kind of lost a lot of viewers. But you know what? There's a, there's, yeah. I need to get my shit back up. I'm going to be uploading daily. Don't worry about that. I'm back on my, like, three, four times a day shit. Or, no, three, four times a week shit. Uh... Once my ring light come in, oh, it's going to be 10 times better. It's going to be stupid lit. God. And, hey, um, once I get my shit up, he's going to get his um shit up too. What's it called? His music. He's going to start with his music up again. He's already been doing a lot of it. but. And if y'all think I should start a channel with just Trell and I, like make a channel for just us instead of just my channel, we can do like him and I make a video all the time. Cause I know you fuck with both of us together, obviously, cause it's my brother. But yeah, yeah, leave it down in the comments below if you think him and I should make a channel and make sure I show your friends my channel. And I love you, foreign family. We out. I'll catch you in the next one.